Hello and welcome to our final day of coverage of the 25th African Cup of Nations here in Cairo. A very special day for the host nation, Egypt. Even State Chief Mubarak is present, hoping to see his countrymen win the prestigious African Cup for the fifth time. Security levels are high here in the International Stadium, as are the spirits in this football-crazy city. The Pharaohs will have to do without superstar and Spurs striker Mido after his bust-up with coach Hassan Shihata on being substituted in their semi. Mido apologised, Shihata accepted, quoting that Mido is like a son to him, but his six-month ban still stands. We've still got a lot of international players on the pitch though, especially those playing for the Ivory Coast like Chelsea's Drogba, Bonaventure Kalou from Paris Saint-Germain, Arsenal's Ibuwi and Kulo Touré, Akali from Auxerre and Hamburg's Guy de Mille. This is destined to be a hard-fought, star-studded all-out match. And without further ado, let's follow the action, get down on the pitch, the host there in red and white, the elephants in their all-orange strip. And we're away. And it's... Egypt and Asaki is through but he's got it wide Saki can't control he's shot properly to the relief of the elephants keeper Jean-Jacques Tissier but it's a bright start from the host here five minutes into play with a promise of more to come Amazaki there with his first try of the evening the Egyptian still on the ball Hassan is fouled Kwasi grounds Ahmed Hassan a few yards out of the box. And the referee, Murad Dami from Tunisia, says it's going to be a free kick. Tizia getting ready for the ensuing free kick now. Looks like El Saka's going to take it. Yep, El Saka. These balls wide too. Could have been dangerous, a low ball like that, but we're still on nil-nil. Egypt, the more active team in the opening minutes. The Ivory Coast resorting to fouls as a recipe for success. That won't help them much. Got the Ivory Coast now. Ivory Coast with a free kick. Didier Zakora. Didier Zakora has a header there. Oh, that was Yaya Toure putting his head on the line there. But it's another wide ball. The Ivorians' first real chance of the evening so far. Pretty close though. Egypt. Oh, Egypt coming on strong here. Abul Wahab, a pandemonium in the elephants area. The ball's going anywhere here, like a game of snooker. May sound corny, but see it for yourself. Oh, Abbas Trigger swings one across. It's headed away. He's on the turn here, Saki. But that ball was on a bounce, goes wide. Everything happening here. Pandemonium. Abdul Wahab sending some dangerous crosses away. Swings one from the left. The Pharaoh's defence holding steady there. Mido looks very pensive. Worried about how the game's going to continue without him being on, on the pitch. Akali with a corner kick. That was Toure there. He could have had it in. But it seemed to take him by surprise. He's on the far post trying to control that volley there that came from Akali. You can see him. Akali sends the ball across. So close to the goal there. The only thing he didn't hit was the thing he should have hit and that was the goal one of the few chances from the Ivory Coast in the beginning Arsenal's Toure Ivory Coast still on the ball here Akali Al Hadari has it safe and sound what a shot there from Kanga Akali who earns his money with French side Auxerre a dangerous man Akali the Egyptians will be fickle not to consider just to consider Drogba and Kalu on threats First half of this tense clash is now over. Chances on both sides. Egypt with a little more of the ball initially, but the Ivory Coast set themselves up with some good tries towards the end of the set. A 
Carly's a real threat and the home side has to be alert in the second half if they want to win this contest for a record fifth time. Seen chances now on both sides as I say. Let's see what the second half brings us. Got Egypt coming down the right flank here with Amasaki. Balls over to Abutreka. Abutreka heads but it's wide again. Mohamed Abutreka with a charging header gets through Ibui and Toure there. Egypt with a lot of determination. Attacking football though on both sides. It's still nil-nil at the beginning of the second. Have another look at that one. Nice ball across from Zaki. Abutreka there. Charges in. But the ball goes wide. Still on nil-nil. Still Egypt on the ball. Hassan. Here he comes. Hassan's excited. Oh! That was a great attempt from Ahmed Hassan. He's played a brilliant tournament so far. And this thing is no exception to the rule. But one hour into play. No change in the scoreline. Lots of exciting scenes. The only thing missing. Goals. Will we have to wait for extra time again? Oh, Kwasi. Kwasi with a long ball here. Oh, Drogba's got it! Drogba shoots! Didier Drogba, they're coming on strong, fights his way through, blasts the ball forward, but the game has a wide ball curse. But Drogba's getting closer, the Pharaoh shouldn't allow the big fella too many chances like this one. Well, back in Chelsea, you would have had ones like that. Still the elephants here. Oh, nice there, Ibuwe managed to keep the ball in. Cone is on the ball now, he gets it across, and who's there? It's Drogba, but it's over the bar again. How could he miss that? It's obviously the question he's asking himself. Chelsea, 42 million pound man, should have had that one in. Great work there, though, from Emmanuel Ibui for keeping that ball in. We're having a look at it again, there he goes, Ibui kept that ball from going out. Cone is on it, sends it nicely across to Didier Drogba. He powers the ball over the bar, Drogba unable to make his mark as yet. And he's getting even closer. I think he wants to eat that net. He must be a bit hungry. Up to the 82nd now. Egypt are meaning business. Up a tricker. Hassan! Tizia has it. But he can't hold on to it. Amazaki! And it's in! It's a goal! The ball's in! But the flag is up. The flag is up. The linesman had his flag up, seeing an offside position beforehand. Oh, what emotion here. Tizio's hurt himself to boot. The fans are in a frenzy, but it's no goal. It's not a goal yet. Still on nil-nil. Good work there, though, from Abutriga. Captain Hassan doing well, too. What confusion, though. Well, everybody here thought that was it. We'd have our first goal of the evening, but uh, disallowed. Now, Tizia should have held on to it, though. But it makes a difference. The flag was up, so the goal doesn't count. Oh, we're still on. Nil-nil. Ivory Coast this time. Anyway, crosses. Who's there? It's Drogba again, but he can't do the business. Drogba getting too many chances. Fortunately for the Egyptians, he can't finish satisfactorily. A well-timed cross there from Emmanuel Ibui. Didier Drogba's there, but the desired goal, as you can see now, still hasn't fallen. And we're into the dying seconds of regular time. And you know what that means? Yes, there it is. That's the whistle. It means we're going into extra time now. We could have seen two goals in the second half. Zaki at one end, Drogba at the other. The outcome would have been the same. Nil-nil or 1-1 means we have to go into extra time to reach a decision tonight. Two 50-minute sets, which, if they remain goalless, lead to a penalty shootout. Into extra time now. Makari corner. The ball across the goal. Drogba's there. But he hasn't locked onto it. Good ball from Bakari Kone from the right. Drogba charges it down, gets his head to it. No instant rewards in the opening minute of extra time for the Elephants, though. 
That's Egypt's turn now. Egypt on the march. Kwasi with a cross. Barakat. El Saka. They collided. What's the ref going to say to that? I don't believe it. It's going to be a penalty. No way is that a penalty. The ref sees one. He's handing them a penalty. He's pointing to the spot. What a shocking decision. Didier Drogba's furious and gets yellow for complaining. But he's right. Drogba's right. There's no penalty as far as I'm concerned. But Hassan's going to take the kick now. Tizier, will he be able to keep the ball out? Well, now in a second. Hassan! Yeah! I don't believe it! It's the post! Justice has been done! Hassan can't get the ball into the net. And justice has been done. A very gratuitous penalty, which ended as it should. No goals. Conan. Connie Schultz! Oh, what a save! What a ball! Trogba was signalling for the ball out there, but Bakari Kone does it himself. A fabulous volley, but Al Hadari has its fingertips on it. Oh, the game's full of life now. This is more like it. Fabulous bit of football there. That would have been our first goal of the evening. That's it, though. The final of the 25th African Cup of Nations will be decided by a penalty shootout. All the Ivory Coast know how this feels. We have our first man in the evening. It's going to be Hassan. 1-0. Captain scores the first goal of the evening. Oh, some nervous moments for all concerned now. Mill for Egypt as it stands. So here's the second man in the evening. Didier Drogba. He's not had any luck all night. Will things change now in the penalty shootout? Full of determination. Drogba. I don't believe it. Drogba misses it. Al Hadari holds on to it. Drogba misses it like so many others before him, like Baggio, like Seiko, like Southgate. We'll never forget that. Drogba, the hero of the last penalty shootouts. Tonight he fails. Good bit of work there though from Al Hadari. So we've got Zaki coming up now. He's got it in. Ali and Kone both missed. Zaki replaced Mido, which led to Mido's suspension. Increases the host lead. 3 1 now for the Egyptians. All oh, things are looking good for the hosts. Ibuwe now, he's got it in, he pulls one back, it's now 3-2, he's getting close again. But if the next ball goes in for the Egyptians, that means it's all over. Abel Trekker. Abotrekker, it's in, it's all over. Abotrekker nets it, it's all over for the elephants. Egypt win the Africa Cup for the fifth time, and that's a record. Dismay and disbelief on the faces of the Ivorian players. Mubarak's enjoying it, his wife as well. Oh, the Ivorian, Ivorians, they're seen as favourites. Go home with just the consolation prize. On a good day, the Ivory Coast can win almost anything today. Just wasn't one of those days. The Egyptian squad's happy. The fans are over the moon. And this has been a much better tournament than many have prophesied. Lots of excitement. Lots of great goal scenes. As well as the odd dubious decision. But on the whole, it's been an entertaining tournament with a fairy tale end for the hosts.
Mubarak doing the honors here. They've got their medals. And now the moment they've been waiting for. The Pharaohs lift the cup that means so much to them for a record fifth time. President Mubarak handing it over there. Congratulations, Egypt. Thanks for joining us at home. And see you again in two years' time in Ghana.